Section 4.3 is about the tangent function. So we've covered sine and cosine, and we've covered some translations there. So let's look at tan and cotan. The tangent has a domain of x not equal to 2n plus 1 times pi over 2, meaning you get these curves like this, and every point at 2n plus 1 times pi over 2, you're going to have a vertical asymptote. You're going to have a barrier that it can't go across. And so, you know, if n is 0, you're going to have 1 at pi over 2. If n is 1, you're going to be at 3 pi over 2. And if n is 2, you're going to go on and on and on. So that's the restriction on the domain. The range is negative infinity to infinity because they go on and on and on up. Oh, that's a horrible drawing of those. <laughs> so range is negative infinity to infinity, and the domain has those restrictions. Um, the period for tangent is pi. Pi. So that's different than sine and cosine. Remember, sine and cosine is 2 pi. Its graph has no amplitude because it goes on forever. There's no max or min values. And so let's look at cotan. If you knew tangent goes this way, and look at cotan, cotan goes the opposite way. Same ideas, though. Um, the domain for cotan is x not equal to n pi. So it has different... Um, asymptotes, but it does still have boundaries every so often. The range is still negative infinity to infinity. So if we are going to graph these, there's a different set of guidelines than we used for uh, cosine and sine. So you either have a tan bx or a cotan bx, same idea. Determine the period pi over b. So instead of 2 pi over b, you're going to use pi over b. And then you're going to set bx equal to negative pi over 2 and bx equal to pi over 2 and solve those. That will give you two vertical asymptotes, and you will sketch those. They'll be dotted lines. Then you'll divide the interval formed by the asymptotes into four equal parts, and then it'll be like we did before. So I think we'll just go ahead and look at this. So here's our example. y equals tan 2x. The period is pi over b. b in this case is 2, so the period is pi over 2. All right, you take 2x and set it equal to pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. So where did we get 2x? Whatever you're taking tangent of, you're going to set equal to pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 and solve. So in this case, we divided by 2. We got pi over 4 and negative pi over 4. Those are our two vertical asymptotes in this one period. All right, so we come over to our graph and you put dotted lines at negative pi over 4 and pi over 4. Now, the, gra the grid, okay, so you put your, your boundaries, your asymptotes here and here, and then you do what we did before. What's halfway between negative pi over 4 and pi over 4? That'd be 0. What's halfway between 1 fourth and 0, or negative 1 fourth and 0? That's negative 1 eighth. Halfway between 0 and 1 fourth, that's 1 eighth. So we've got our x values. Then we have 2x. Multiply this by 2. You get negative pi over 2, negative pi over 4, 0, pi over 4, and pi over 2. Now, tangent is undefined at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So this is undefined, this is undefined. For negative pi over 4, tan is negative 1. Tan at 0 is 0, pi over 4, it's 1. So you come back up to your grid, and at negative pi over 4, you're at, um, I mean, at pi
pi over here, we're over here, we're undefined there. At negative pi over 8, we're at negative 1. I just let four blocks be 1. So this is 1, this is negative 1. So at negative pi over 4, we're undefined. At negative pi over 8, we're at negative 1. At 0, we're at 0. So we put a dot there. And then at pi over 8, we're at 1. So we're here. And they almost line up. You could almost draw a straight line, but what you need to do is try to curve it and then go through the origin and then curve up. And so this is what our tan would look like. And that was that. Was that. So I think that gets us going. Let's go look at our problem set that will help you get ready for your homework. All right, select the correct choice. Between any two successful vertical asymptotes, the graph of y equals 10x, is it increasing or decreasing? Remember you have your dotted lines and your tangent is doing that, so it's increasing. For cotan, you have your dotted lines and remember it's coming down that way, so it's decreasing. All right, graph the function over a one period interval, 5, 10, x. You can do this in your calculator. Let's look at what I put in and how I set it up for this one. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in radian mode for these graphs. And um, I already did that. And so I went to y equals and I put in 5, 10, x. Then we want to match our window. So go to your window. Note that x min is at negative 2 pi, so baby negative 2, second, and the pi key. And hit enter. It's going to change it to a decimal, that's okay. And then we have 2 pi over here. Now, I'm not sure what the scale is. It looks like from 0 to 2 pi is, it's going by pi over 2. So I could make my scale second pi divided by 2. That'll help. And then the y min is at negative 10, and the y max is at 10, but the scale looks like it's 2. It's going by 2. So you want to try to match your graph on your calculator to what you've got going on here. And then I hit graph. and I got that picture that I pulled over here. Now it's just wanting one period of it. All right, so that would be this one here in the middle. So C is what we're looking at. Okay. Number, two, let's see, that was number three. Number four, tan of X plus pi over two. And again, you could uh, set your window from negative pi to zero and see what you get. As far as your picture, I think this is what I got. And you can tell it's the only one that's going to go across um, and look like that. So it does match C. Let's look at 5. Cotan of X plus pi over 4. And so I did change the window. I put it in like that. You have to do 1 divided by tan to get cotan. Um, let's see. Um, the x min is at negative pi over 4. That's what that number is. And then this is 3 pi over 4. And the scale looks like it's at um, pi over 4. And then negative 10 to 10, I probably just left it there. And so when I got the graph, this is the graph that I got. I don't think it'll let me, yeah, let me put it up a little higher. And you can see that it is this one. It's just really right above it where it's going above it. And then I've got this at negative pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. So you have to be a little careful, but you should be able to get those. 5, 10, 1 half x. 
I would suggest that you could just put it in at 0.5x and um, then you're looking and this came out I did it negative 2 pi to 2 pi and you get a pretty good match there 7 all right on this one so on this one, cotan 6x, well the period is pi over b, so the period is pi over 6, so we're, we need to look, and this goes from, this does go from 0 to pi over 6, this one goes from negative 3 pi to 3 pi, so I believe that this one is it, and it is cotan, so it's going this way. Looks a little bit odd here. Must have been the window that I used. But this one should be our choice. And this one looks scary. People look at this and then they, they get worried. A lot of words, but it's not horrible. A rotating beacon is located 4 meters south of a point R on an east-west wall. D, the length of the light display along the wall from R, is given by... So this is given by 4 tan 2 pi t, where t is time measured in seconds since the beacon started rotating. When t is zero, the, be beam is, the beacon is aimed at point r. When the beacon is aimed to the right of r, the value of d is positive. d is negative if the beacon is aimed to the left of r. Find d if t is 0.2 seconds. And honestly, this is a really, really easy question. You're just plugging in 4t. So in your calculator, you can write 4 tan um, times point. It's 4 tan 2 pi times 0.2. And so that becomes 0.4 pi. So I, I filled in here, but when I went to the calculator, I had already simplified that. And you get 12 point, and then a lot of numbers. It says round to the hundredths, so it's 12.31. So that's really an easy just calculation. You're just plugging in if you pay attention. All right, so I think that'll get you going on uh, 4.3.